Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Bullseye Nate 231. Uh, so, today we're going to be addressing the airbag light on this Toyota 4Runner. This is a 2003 uh, V8 4.7 um, liter engine. And so, uh, had this airbag light come on, um, it's been coming, turning on and turning off. Um, I suspect that it may be from the seat sensor. Um, I noticed that if I started the car without sitting in the seat, the airbag light would not come on. And sometimes it would not come on at all. Um, and then it would turn on when I sat in the seat. Um, but sometimes it wouldn't come on if I started the car before I sat in the seat. But now it's gotten to the point where the airbag light is on all the time. Um, so it makes me think that it's going to be a sensor. Unfortunately, the only way to determine this is using a scan tool. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and show, so I'm going to show you kind of what to do and how to look at it. Um, maybe you're having this problem. You've had the same problem with the seat issue, um, starting and start starting your car and then sitting in the seat and the airbag light coming on. Um, so if that's the case, um, this video will be right up your alley. If not, I'm just going to show you how to um, just run the scan tool through um, the code so we can read this code and see what's going on with the airbag system. Um, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and we're going to jump right into this. Alright, so we got our scan tool plugged into the OBD2 port, which is, can be found right up underneath the emergency brake. Um, and so if you didn't know that that's where that was, that's where it can be found. Never want to connect one of these scan tools while the car is running. Um, so now we've got the scan tool um, connected. Um, and we're going to go ahead and turn the vehicle back on all right so we're gonna click uh, diagnose um, and as you can see I've got a couple of different cars here that I can look at um, some of the in-depth which is like ABS and um, airbags and things like that so we're not gonna do OBD2 we're actually gonna go down here to Toyota and we're gonna click that this is an R iCar soft um, TYT too. Um, this is mainly for Toyotas, but you get a couple of other vehicles um, with it as well as you can see there on that first display screen. Alright, so we're just going to click Toyota here because this is a Toyota 4Runner. And we'll go ahead and click that. Alright, we are in the North America area. So we'll just let this load. Again, the only way to check the airbag light to see what's going on is going to be with a scan tool. Um, there's lots of scan tools out there that can um, probably do this. All right, so we're gonna do automatic. And uh, so, but this this I, iCar Soft is pretty good. It's about 150 bucks, um, depending on where you buy it. Um, and it works really well. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Is it? It's pulling all this stuff up. It's hard to get the camera to focus on that screen. Alright, so it initialized everything. Alright, so we're going to go down and we're going to click ABS, I'm sorry, SRS airbag. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK so we can look at that. And it's going to see the fault. Alright, so we've got a fault data, so we're going to press read fault data. This is real easy. All right, seat position sensor assembly. Okay, so we know that the airbag seat position sensor assembly is the issue here. Um, and so we've actually got a code B1153. Um, and so we know that it is a seat position sensor assembly. All right, so. I'm not quite sure where that seat position sensor assembly is, if it's inside the seat, if it's underneath the seat, um, it might be like a weight sensor. Um, so I'm going to do another video um, after I locate the sensor um, and I will post the video in a link to that, that video in the link below or you can just go to my channel um, and it can be found there. Um, but real quick I'm going to show you how to erase that code. Okay, So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and erase that code. But as soon as I sit in the seat again, it's going to just come back on, you know. Um, so, we're, do you, it says, do you want to erase fault data? Yes. OK. 
okay? And so we're erasing the code. Erase, succeeded. Okay. All right, so we're all done. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of all this. You, you don't wanna just turn off your vehicle. Um, you wanna get out of all this and get back to the home screen. All right, and then we're gonna turn off the vehicle. And then we can disconnect the scan tool. All right, well that's the airbag light on a 2003 Toyota 4Runner. Um, this this uh, procedure is gonna be the same for 2003 all the way to 2009. Um, in 2010, they changed the models, um, but um, it's all pretty much the same. So uh, I hope this video is helpful. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do a little bit of digging and figure out where this sensor is um, and shoot another video of how to replace the sensor um, so that this error doesn't keep occurring. Thanks for watching. Please comment with any questions you may have. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good one.